What is up Fabrication Nation? So, as I do sometimes, I'm gonna bring you guys a product. A product that I feel like might be useful to some of you guys. It's a new product. It's got a little hype around it. Wanted to bring it to you, show you what it is. It is from Eastwood. As you know, I do a lot of stuff with Eastwood. They graciously sent me this product for me to show you guys. The product I'm about to show you is actually on the cover of their newest catalog. You can get these catalogs free if you go to eastwood.com. Just sign up, they'll send you these things to your house. And it is the panoramic welding helmet. So you might ask, what is a panoramic welding helmet? Well basically, it is a welding helmet that has 180 degree views. So instead of having just one darkening lens, auto darkening lens, it has three of them. You have the two, panor uh, the two on the side, which I guess are your peripheral vision lenses. Then you have the main welding lens in, in front. You can kind of see, you can kind of see what that might look like on the inside. And as always, when I get a new welding helmet, got to put a sticker on it, of course. So let's just start off by looking at some of the features of this helmet. The one thing I like is it has uh, this full guard around all of the lenses. So each lens themselves comes with these protectors, but above and beyond that, it also comes with several large protectors that just wrap around the whole the whole helmet itself. So that's good. This thing has a grind setting on it as well as a weld setting so you can actually use this for grinding. Just flip it over grind. It'll keep sparks stuff out of your face and uh, save, save the old skin. You know what I'm saying? Up top you have your adjustments. Now the way that this thing works is the main lens, at least the way that I've kind of read and am aware of is the main lens itself is adjustable as far as how it darkens, how it auto darkens, to how dark it gets, to the sensitivity, and to the delay of that darkening. The side ones, um, I believe those settings are just built into to those panels themselves. I think it auto darkens to 11. So you can adjust this one anywhere from 4 to 12 and the side ones will automatically darken to 11. Like I said, it can just be done up front. So it basically has a switch right here. Uh, if you want it anywhere between 4 and 8, you just flip it to 4, 4 through 8 and you can adjust this knob. It'll give you 4 through 8. If you want it from 8 to 12, you flip it to 8 to 12 and then you have an adjustment from 8 to 12 on here. They are basically numbered for both up top. And then you have your sensitivity, low to high, and your delay, minimum to maximum. And then here is your weld and grind feature. Pretty simple. If you have a welding helmet, it functions very similar to the welding helmets you already have, except for the 180 degree views. Before we get to what my opinion is on these 180 degree views, uh, let's talk about a couple other features of the helmet itself. One of the things that I struggle with in welding helmets is the, the headband and the adjustments uh, for how tight that helmet is as it comes down. It's one of my, I guess, pet peeves or something I have a lot of issues with when I buy welding helmets is how well that thing uh, will stay up when I want it to be up and how easy it'll come down when I want it to come down when I give it the old flick. Um, this one seems to do very well just in the little bit I've used it. I've had no issues with it. The band itself feels really good. It actually has two top adjustable uh, head pieces along with the back and the front. The back one is adjustable as well. Um, it's got push to adjustment for tightness, so it's not like unclicking. It feels really good. Stays up very well, and then give her a flick, she comes right down. It also has, which a lot of them do, has the side adjustments so you can adjust when it comes fully down where it's at. You know, sometimes those welding helmets would just come way down in front of your face. Sometimes they're up too high and you're trying to look through the tops of your eyes. So you can kind of adjust where that thing's gonna end up when it's in its full down lock position, which is a feature that I like. So, so far, everything is good. I believe this thing carries batteries and then it has the uh, 
photo sensors in the bottom and in the top. I don't know if you can see that. They're actually right in here and then right up top there. I also like that this helmet has a big chin cover to it. You know, when it's on, it goes way down into your way down into your chest almost, but it's not so close that you can't get into those tight spots. Now, for the 180 degree, very it feels very very open. So, I kind of uh, attribute it to like, you know, you get in one of those cars that has one of those really big windows and it just feels like you're not even sitting in a car. That's kind of how it feels in this helmet. So when you're sitting, when you have the helmet down and you're kind of looking through it, you may not actually use the side peripherals as much as you might think, but it definitely feels very open. Like you get a, a good sense of where you're at and what you're doing. And I haven't been in, in a circumstance yet where I've needed to kind of look out the corner of my eye to weld, but there have been times previous to me having this where I have needed to do that. You know, you just, you're trying to fit in that tight spot and you can't really turn your head because the helmet just won't fit. I could have looked out my peripheral and, and welded what I needed to, to weld or tacked whatever I needed to tack if I would have had this, if I would have had this when I was trying to do that. So I can see it being very useful. Like I said, I haven't actually used it for that just yet. I've kind of tried to mock, you know, you know, mock it up as I'm in the car welding to see what it would feel like, to see if it would work, um, to see how well it would work. Seems fine. I mean, I don't, I don't see why it wouldn't work. Um, and you can see out the sides just as well as you can see out the front. And really the posts that kind of divide the three lenses don't really get in your way as much as you would probably think they would. This helmet also has a low battery light uh, indicator inside so when your battery is low that thing will come on. You'll be able to see it when the, when the hood's down so it won't be something you have to check on. You'll actually see it out of the corner of your eye. It's actually got a good placement to it. So I don't know. I guess my initial impression of this is uh, pretty impressive. It's a very very cool idea. Like I said I haven't really extensively used it in a way where I'd be using it through those peripherals but I could think I think based on you know what I've kind of felt so far that it would be useful uh, for that like I said other than that even if you're not using it for that it still gives you that really wide open feel doesn't feel like you're closed in no claustrophobia just you know full vision you can kind of see what's going on um, I could see that being very nice for grinding you know you're not just focused you know, your vision's not just closed down on whatever it is you're doing. You can kind of see out everywhere while you're in the shop. You can kind of, you know, somebody walks in, you can kind of see that. So I can see it being useful for that as well. Anyway, as I always do, I'll drop you a link in the description. You can go check these things out for yourself. I think Eastwood's going to be doing some, some sales for Black Friday. I don't know if this will actually be in it or not, but uh, you can go check out their site and see what they're going to have going down. Oh, you know what other thing that I actually found that was pretty cool about this is that I can put my Snapchat spectacles on. And I've tried to weld with these things on before under the helmet. And the problem was is that the camera is on the side. So it kind of just pointed into the side of the welding helmet, or at least my other one. But on this one, it doesn't do that. It actually gets the full view. You can rotate the phone if you're watching. So, I've actually posted a couple of those. You can go check them out on my Snapchat. You can just find me. Voss Performance is my username. There you go. The panoramic 180 degree view welding helmet by Eastwood. I think this is exclusive to them. Uh, they are claiming, so just based on their catalog, they're claiming that it is the largest view area on the market for a welding helmet. So even if there are some that have peripherals, they may not be as big as this one. I don't know guys, let me know what you think. What do you think about the panoramic welding helmet? You think you could use it, you think it'd be useful? You think it'd be something that you would be interested in? Give me your feedback. And uh, maybe an update on the Bibster tomorrow. Stay tuned for that. As always, thank you for joining me. 
I'll see you guys tomorrow.